All right, we're gonna try to get back out. Come on, baby! Maximum speed! That didn't work at all. <laughs> Darn it. What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Hydraineer. So last episode, we started playing with the blueprints. We have four of the blueprints currently. And we are about to go get another one because we're going to take this fancy schmancy birdcage over and get another blueprint. Hopefully you guys all enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Now, there was also another update. Uh, I believe it was like a hotfix kind of update since the last episode. Those, that pressure looks like it's awfully low. Doesn't it? It really does. Anyways. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to start off by getting this next new blueprint. I don't think. Yeah, I don't have any Cloutium in here. Not yet. And then these are all looking good. Oh, I love I love the vaults. Oh, I love them. It's just so nice that they like all stack so nice and neat in there. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. All right. So without further ado, let's go get our next blueprint. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do like subscribe, all the fun things. And thank you all for the support. Okay, let's get over there. All right, so one bird cage. Eh. Stay there. Okay. Uh, shield cage. Ooh, we're making a battle axe now. Heck yes. <gasps> Ta -ta! This is mine. This is mine. I like it. I like it. Okay. So we need the battle axe and then we can make the blunderbuss. Oh, that's going to be super cool. That's going to be super neato. And then we can make all the other things. So I was thinking about it and to make like the pipes and stuff like that, to make the toolkits, you have to have like the toolkit, I understand, but it requires cloudium. It's cheaper just to get the gold from mining and sell it and get pipes than it is to use to get cloud. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know if I, hmm, I don't know if I understand why it's made of cloudium and why it's so expensive. If they're made of iron, I would understand because, you know, I feel like they're iron pipes, but they're not. It's it's all cloudium. And it's just, it make it like, why would I make a pipe out of cloudium? That's like way more expensive and way harder to do. I don't know, unless the pipes are like super amazing and they like never break or something. I have no idea. I have no idea. All right, so I need cloudium. Uh, I need at least three pounds of it. Oh, I didn't look to see how much I needed to trade for the battle, for the blunderbuss. I want to say it was 24. And we have zero. <laughs> we don't have any. So um, I'm going to do some mining. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some mining to start with. We're going to have all the goods flowing out of here. It's going to be a fantastic time. I do need to finish this pipeline as well. Ah, we'll get to it eventually. All right. This guy's full, ready to go. Let's rock and roll and get some wonderful pay dirt. All right. We're going to try to get back out. Come on, baby. Maximum speed. That didn't work at all. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, look at him flow. Look at them flow. This is such a great. I just love this so much. Oh my gosh. All the gems. Holy moly. We got so many gems. Look at all of the things. <laughs> it feels so good that it's working. Oh, it feels so good that it's working. Okay, let's go turn it off. All right, next. Uh oh. Hold on. Let's grab this. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and turn this bad boy off. And let's go get some more. Oh, wait, this is upside down, huh? So actually the pressure's almost maxed out. Okay, cool, looking good. All right, so I ran four loads. Uh, Let's see what we got here. How much do you weigh? Come on, be good. 29, I think we're good. I think we're good. That should be able to make our battle ax. Throw that guy in there, heck yes. Uh, okay, we're gonna need the screwdriver eventually. Now, um, out of all of this, I wanna see how much, how much do you weigh? <laughs> Twenty one thousand dollars just for this singular bar of gold. I like it. I like it indeed. Okay, so how much did we get out of this guy? Uh, eighteen thousand for that one. Heck yes. I think we need to make something worth a million dollars. One million. Um. Oh, that would take forever though, because that was only worth twenty one thousand. You know how long it would take to get something worth a million? Jeez, Louise. All right, and boop. Oh my battle axe. Look at that majestic being. Can I like smack with it? Oh, you know how cool it'd be if you could actually like hit with it, like or like chop down trees. Oh, that'd be super cool. 
Man, why not? Why not? Okay. So we're gonna go trade this uh, for the blunderbuss blueprint. And then hopefully we will be able to make a blunderbuss. Um, now we are also gonna have to go, <laughs> we have to go mining again to get some more Caterium or not Caterium. Why do I keep, why Caterium? Why? Get more Cloutium. Uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Wait, what the heck is Caterium even from? What game am I thinking of that it's, there's Caterium? I have no idea. I don't even know. This is when I know I've played too many games. No, how am I supposed to trade you? How, how do I trade you if you don't stay in the bucket? Can, can you, can you stay in the bucket? In the bucket. Uh, I'm not actually sure how I'm going to do this. What if huh? I put it right here? Huh? Nope. Stop it. Drop it. Oh, get in the bucket. Oh, maybe, maybe battle axe 28. Okay. With weight 28. Oh, <gasps> it won't let me swap because it's not in there. Oh. It worked. It was touching it. Yes, we've got a blunderbuss blueprint. Um, okay, hold on. Well, well, let's look, look. Let's look at some things here. Okay, so if I want to get this, uh, if I want to get an angled, I need to make a teapot with a weight of 12, a shield with a weight of 16, a wrench is a weight of 14. Wait, is that gold? Maybe these are because that looks gold. No, these are all Caterium. That's iron. Iron would be super easy to get, but I feel like, and that's iron, but these are Caterium. So like, I don't know why I would, why would I make a pipe out of Caterium? I mean, it only requires a 0.5. So in theory we could, actually that might not be too bad because that requires a 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So we could just saw up a whole bunch of things to get a 0.5 weight. That's not bad. And then these are iron. So that's actually super useful. Because then we don't have to buy those anymore. We can just make them. A blunderbuss with the weight of 30? Jeez Louise. Don't worry. I realized what I was thinking of. Caterium isn't satisfactory. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the goldy stuff. I was like, why do I, why did I say Caterium? I don't know. Anyways, okay. Let's, let's take this back. And I'm going to sleep. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do a whole bunch of mining. And then hopefully we can get a blunderbuss. All right, we got our fifth load here. I'm hoping that we have enough. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of uh, a lot of cloudium coming out, so I don't know if we're actually going to have enough or not, but I guess only time will tell. You know, I think we have plenty of gems. Just saying. I think we have plenty of gems. All right, let's go ahead and shut her down. Let's see how much we got. I can't even remember how much we need, like 30 or 32 or something like that. All right, come on. How big are you? What size? Oh, it's 40. Heck, yes, we have enough. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let's make let's make a blunderbuss, shall we? Oh man, it'd be so cool if it like actually shot something. <laughs> that would be so much fun. All right, so we're gonna make this guy, um, and then I guess we'll go ahead and turn this guy in for the a tool bag, because that'll be that. I mean, that would be nice. I mean, I already have uh, I have one, two, three, four. I already have like four tool bags, so but it would still be nice. All right, let's throw this on here. There we go. And let's grab this guy and blunderbuss. What? There we go. <gasps> oh, look at how cool it is. <laughs> oh, man. I wish it would shoot. This would be so cool. <gasps> that would be so cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. So it says like it be it can be sold at the stock market or the jeweler. Let's go see how much a blunderbuss is actually worth. Now, I'm guessing it's probably based on its weight in the Cloudium, but you know, maybe since it's like, you know, a high, a high quality refined item here, this is high quality craftsmanship at its finest right here. This is, this is what it is, man. I wish there was, I wish there was a way to shoot it. Even if there's nothing to shoot, it would still be fun just to go, you know what I mean? Or if it just shot, shot like little fireworks or if it had a flag, or like a, a pop gun, you know, with like the cork with the uh, the string and go boop, and it would come back. That would be hilarious. I think that'd be so funny. Or a flag that says, like, rolls out and says bang, you know? Super funny. All right, let's go see how much it's worth. All right, so at a jeweler, it's worth 2,041. Not bad. I don't know that the stock market is even going to have a spot for a, a blunderbuss. Maybe it will. I don't know. You know what? It's not worth 2,000 to walk all the way over to the stock market right now. Not worth it. 
All right, so how heavy did you need to be? 30? Okay, well, this definitely meets that criteria. No problemo. Um, can you just please uh -huh. stay up uh -huh. here somehow? Is that... That's not considered on there. Of course not. Is it now? Yeah, perfect. All right. So we're going to change the blunderbuss into the tool bag blueprint because that right there is going to be much more handy than a blunderbuss that doesn't do anything. But we have the blueprint if needed to... Um, Uh-oh. Okay, good. I was making sure. I was like, uh-oh, did it not take it? But we saw the blueprint if we want to ever make a blunderbuss again. So, But we got the tool bag, which is super nice. And a tool bag. Oh, hold on. Let's grab this one and put this one away. We'll grab this one. We'll just throw it up here. So, you know, I was thinking, I was like, because uh, in the beginning, I was like, man, those those pipes are super expensive. But, I mean, we did five trips. We got 40. We had 40 Cloutium, which if we actually divided it down to 0.5 bars, we could have made 80 pipes. So, I, that's not that bad. And then you don't have to run back and forth either. So, like, we could finish our line out of out of cloudium pipes which i mean i'm sure they look exactly the same because yeah, we didn't know but the entire time this is actually cloudium it's not copper everybody thinks it's copper it's not it's cloudium <laughs> so um you know what let's go ahead let's let's make another let's do another trip and let's see if let's make some um oh you know what i don't even have the stuff to make the pipes what am i talking about but i do have the stuff to make the tool bags because these bars right here should be uh, so that's 1,500 weight, and it only requires 18 weight. So you know how many of those we can make. That's insane. It's insanity. Oh, here's our new bar. How much is this guy worth? Uh, 26,000. <laughs> yes. Yes, I love it. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead. Let's, let's smelt all these. Let's get these all smelted into one super bar. All right, all our bars are gold turned into one super bar. Worth $69,000. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Um. Also, I think I have a gem problem here. Part of me wants to go through and sell all of these. Man. If I ground all of them down and put them into here. Does it have a weight for gems? I don't think it does. I think we tried this before and I don't think it did anything. Oh, it does have a weight. Interesting. You can't combine these in a smelter, can you? No. Can you? Maybe? Hold on. I want to try this. What happens if I throw... Nothing. Okay. All right. We can't We can't combine those. Interesting. They do have a weight, in fact. Huh. But there's no way to combine those, I don't think. Like, what... Can I, can I grind this again? No. Hmm. Interesting. So basically what I need to do is I need to fill this whole thing up with the gems and I just need to go sell all of the gems. You know how much money we'd probably make off of just the gems? We'd probably make a lot because how much was this one worth? That's worth 70 for one. And I have like a hundred of them. <laughs> that's only 7,000. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Oh my God. You know the process for making this, for doing all of these. That, that, that. There's one. Oh my gosh. This would take forever to do. But gosh, we could sell all of them. Also, you know what I haven't checked on? Oh, shoot. Uh, I don't, I need to hammer that. Why haven't I, why have I not hammered that yet? Where is the hammer actually? Boom. Good to go. All right. Um, so I haven't checked on this guy. I bet you this is a gigantor bar right here. 315 weight. Heck yes, it is. Look at that. Look at that. All righty. So my thoughts, I think what I'm going to do is I think we're going to get all of these ground up thrown in here and we're probably just going to sell them because I get, I, we get so many of these every time and I don't have a need for them right now. Um, and then what I want to do since we're getting a whole bunch of these is I would in fact like to start playing with these. Um, but I think what I want to do is actually kind of maybe set them up right here. So they go right onto this belt. Uh -huh. And then underneath of it, we're going to put that David machine and we're going to grab a thing of pay dirt at the bottom, throw it into there because I believe it just keeps duplicating it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. And we get so many of these crystals. Like, I think it'd be able to run forever. No problem. Um, so basically my idea is hook up a bunch of these to this thing. So when we come back and we drop off the stuff, we turn it on. These start doing their thing, getting even more dirt. 
and then we're doing this and then i mean honestly if it gets to the point we could just set up a whole chain of these things with the davids and run those to make our money completely like just just let it go you know passive money making that would be pretty cool so uh we might check that out in the next episode because that's the end of this one hopefully you enjoyed if you did please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more and uh yeah next episode's gonna be fun it's gonna be exciting we're gonna be doing all the fun things and i'm probably gonna get these cleaned up in between episodes but uh thank you guys for coming out hopefully you have a fantastic day i'll see you in the next one